Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net. So today's video is sponsored by Testers. And we're going to be using Testers fabric spray paint. If you've never used this, you're in for a treat. As well as a second option using Testers craft paint that's good on fabric. Because we're going to talk all about freezer paper stenciling. So if you don't know, you can use freezer paper as a great stencil on fabric. And it is so super easy that even the kids can do it. So we're going to do a couple different options. One, with letting those kids just cut shapes out of the freezer paper, then using the fabric spray paint over the top to create a fun tea towel. And the other, I'm actually gonna break out the Cricut machine and I'm gonna do a more intricate design, iron that onto a tea towel, and then have even smaller kids, so if you don't trust the kids with the scissors, they can still use Tester's Craft Matte Paint just to do like random paint dots all over. And when you use that stencil, it actually makes it look really cool in the end. So let's make a couple tea towels. We'll start with the first version in this fabric spray paint. Then we'll go to the second version. Then we'll come back and talk about the projects we made. For this project you'll need freezer paper and then you'll need paint. So we're gonna do two different versions of this. We're gonna do one with fabric spray paint. This is from Tester's Craft. Then we're gonna do the other with craft paint. So this is the Tester's Craft matte craft paint in two different colors. Now this is okay on fabric and you want to make sure on any craft paint you're using that it's okay for fabric. Scissors, some kind of sponge, some kind of surface to put this on. So I'm going to use tea towels, but you could definitely use this same method on a shirt or whatever. You're going to need some sort of iron. I'm going to use this and you need something to iron it on top of. And I'm going to use this pressing mat here, but you can definitely use like a folded up towel or something like that. All right, so the first version we're gonna do, we're gonna use the fabric paint and we're going to cut the freezer paper freehand. So this is one option and then I'm gonna show you the second option after this. So I would have older kids just cut the freezer paper freehand. So just do the old thing where, you know, we always folded over the freezer paper and then we use that fold to kind of cut a heart. So just fold it over. and then cut those hearts out of freezer paper. So I'm gonna cut a few different size hearts, but I would just let older kids go wild cutting hearts. And then I'm gonna do another version of what, as well with like um, triangles or just simple shapes. So that, I mean, basically any child that can use a pair of scissors can do this portion. It, it does not have to be a heart. So they could cut just simple triangles or something like that easily. We're going to do large and small. And I would use eat every little piece of this freezer paper to make these. I mean, even the smallest hearts can be made out of this scrap area in between. And then don't throw any of this away because we'll use the scrap portion for our triangle. So even this piece right here, maybe I couldn't get a heart out of it, but I could definitely cut quick triangle. So we'll set those to the side and use those as well. So just every little piece of this freezer paper, let's use that to make these hearts. All right, so then we have our towel on our pressing mat. And then we just put the freezer paper hearts all over with the shiny side down. See, so with the shiny side against the fabric of the towel or t-shirt or whatever you're making. And then we're just going to press these. And it's super, super quick. You only need a couple seconds for each. And these will stick to the fabric long enough so that you'll have a paint mask, but you can peel them right back off. So it's not like heat transfer vinyl or something like that that's permanent. So that makes them the perfect stenciling mask. So I'm going to iron all these into place and then I'm going to repeat for our other shape. So I did triangles for my other shape, but again, you can do whatever your kids want to do. And then we'll take these outside and we'll just spray paint over them. So this paint dries to touch in 30 minutes. 
you can handle it after about three hours and then you want to wait three days before you throw the towel itself or the shirt in the laundry so that's all there is to using the fabric spray paint so let me get the other one pressed and then we'll head outside all right so second option maybe your kids are so small that they're not really good with scissors or you don't want to do the spray paint thing and you have some testers craft paint that's good for fabric on hand then you can do this option so with this option i actually cut my design i cut number one mom and i cut it on my cricut out of freezer paper you can do that you can also just cut a big heart out of freezer paper but we're going to kind of do the reverse so you want the surrounding area to have no paint and they're going to paint in the lines but the freezer paper, once again, makes a really great stencil. So I'm just going to press this on just like we did those hearts and triangles. Now my hearts and triangles are drying, so I'm going to go ahead and make this version. Because you do want to let it dry that 30 minutes before handling it. Before you remove that freezer paper. Now for this version, since I'm doing words, I would need to put the centers of the letters in there. So I'm going to put the center of the O in the center and the center of this pound sign. Right there. Alright, now if I was using a this with little kids I would probably add even more freezer paper or painters tape or even just paper so you could take this plain scrap paper and tape it over the edges but you want them just to get their paint in this area of course I'm doing it myself so I don't have to mess with that but just a word of caution to make this as easy for them as possible so then we want to protect under our towel so I'm going to just use a scrap piece of paper up under the towel so any paint that bleeds through will get on that paper and not on my table and then let them pick some colors it does not matter how many colors um, I like to just do a couple because they'll start to like blend together and if you have all the colors and they blend together you tend to make black or brown And then what I recommend is a kitchen sponge, so regular old kitchen sponge. Just cut off some small pieces for them. So a little piece of kitchen sponge works great. And they can just start using this paint to fill in that freezer paper stencil. And as you can see, there is no right or wrong here. So that's why this is perfect for smaller kids. The only thing you may want to keep them from doing is getting, like soaking the towel and paint is that might get a little messy, but otherwise this is super easy. They can even, if you want to get crazy, just use their fingers for this portion and not even bother with the sponge. And then while you have their hands dirty, you could even paint their hand and put it on either side and do the handprint. All right, so once you're done painting this one, we can actually just lift this up. So I would definitely do this part. Do not let the kids do this part. And then just start lifting that freezer paper up. Makes a great stencil, removes super easily. We'll just discard this. And you just wanna pick up the centers of those you have something like tweezers that's great otherwise you just get paint on your fingers which isn't that big of a deal now I'm going to set this one aside and let it dry completely and then I'm going to heat set it with like an iron or something just heat set that paint in and then it's ready to give to mom so let's take a look at the other two that we spray painted now here are the towels we spray painted. 
and we can just start lifting up those freezer paper pieces to reveal a cute towel that's so easy even kids can make it. So both of these ideas are perfect for Mother's Day with the towels or a shirt, but think about Father's Day as well. So different shapes to add to a shirt for Dad, a barbecue towel, a apron for barbecuing. Like these can be used for all kinds of different projects or even think about using the same technique and they can make curtains for their room with the fabric spray paint and a freezer paper stencil. All right, so here's how those first two turned out. So I did kind of like an ombre effect with the spray paint. And then there's the tea towel itself. Now this is the triangle version. And then this is the hearts version. So these towels are so cute and they took minutes to make. And no one would ever know that a child actually made these because, and they totally, totally can. Just random shapes, cut out of freezer paper, ironed on, makes an amazing stencil. The paint does not seep under that at all, so it, you get those professional quality results with something that even kids can do. Now, our option for those smaller kids, this is how that one turned out. So super cute as well, and I mean, the older kids can do this one as well. Um, they could like help design something, or design something themselves, or just cut, like if you had older kids that they could use like an X-Acto knife, they could even like make a pretty intricate design out of freezer paper and iron it on and paint it this way. So either way that you wanna make these towels is perfect. And like I said, this goes for more than just Mother's Day. So think about ideas on aprons for Father's Day or different shirts for all occasions or let them make something for their room. If it is fabric and you have freezer paper straight out of your kitchen, all you need is testers, fabric paint, the spray, or testers craft paint in liquid form that you can use either one of these with your freezer paper stencil to create something amazing all within a couple of minutes. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions about anything we've done today, questions about freezer paper stenciling or the painting techniques, please drop those in the comment section below. Now, if you haven't already, head on over to our YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss any of our videos. We have crafty videos every week, and you're going to love each and every one of those. So thank you all so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.